Howdy and welcome back. This is part two of the snippets that were captured from a brief AMA, Forex Shark Developer, Trip Garden, Animal Farm, etc., etc. This part two uh, quick clip, he's talking about the new lending protocol that's being worked on and how the collateral works for that and so on. Um, I think at the end there, he starts getting into the piggy bank a little bit, but I've split that into the uh, the third clip that I had more about the uh, the piggy bank and and the pig pen. So I'll go ahead and play this clip, and then um, you know, if you're more interested in the piggy bank pig pig pen, you can consume that in the in the part three. I thought that was easier to consume to break them up into smaller pieces. So uh, here we go with the next clip. Like a um, a. a, a essentially like a tornado cash um, collateral pool, right? So I would, so essentially when you deposit to um, when, well, a little different than that because you would actually earn yield off it, but when you deposit into the collateral pool, it then creates a greater anonymity set for all the other users that are in the collateral pool plus capital that passes through the collateral pool while it's being bridged and you could take a fee on that and essentially pay it out as a um, uh, as a dividend to liquidity prices or collateral prices, what do you want to call it? And um, it could it could even be a type of inflating asset like a uh, like a, a, a farm reward token, right? That wouldn't prevent it from being uh, that wouldn't make it less anonymous, and it would also allow for larger rewards. Um, and also, I would use like some uh, railgun type of tech to uh, to hide wallets, right? So essentially, the idea is you you're able to move capital from one chain to the next chain, but no no one would be able to see who's interacting with this bridge wallet, how much they're sending to it where any of the capital came from, where it's going, um, and the people who are providing the anonymity set uh, are getting paid for doing so, and the the greater they contribute and the more people are in there, the greater the anonymity set, right? It can be done. I know it can be done. Someone just needs to build it. Contracts that provide some service or... You, Things like this that that can be plugged into the existing tokens, or don't need a token at all. Like people can just interact with them with BND or BUSD or you know my existing tokens, right? So that's mostly what I'm interested in now. And a bridge would do that, right? A bridge doesn't need a token. You can use BNB or you can use any of my existing tokens. Well, I just I just sent twenty five dollars from. Using Elf Finance to Harmony One, and it now it says I have fourteen point one 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 token. Oof. But did you send it from what? Like, did you send one to to one? I, like, no, did you send well, the same went, token? Well, I went through um um MetaMask from um Finance. And I exchanged BNB to for Elf twenty five dollars roughly. Okay. Then I sent Elf to Harmony One, and it got there fairly fast. And how now much, it says how much value is that though right now? I don't know. I got to figure that out. I'm, I'm actually I'm checking it for you right now. Because okay. just so you know, one is on Pancake. Just so you know. Um, so, uh, Forex Shark, what's this mammoth thing you keep oh, hitting damn. about? <laughs> hey, Gypsy, if this is correct, 25 bucks is supposed to be 209 one. Just so you know. Okay. So, so she I don't know. Out? She lost out on a lot? This seems like it. Oh, shit. Okay, I just I have a wallet that. address, so. So, Mammoth, obviously that's not a uh, <laughs> heavily revealed dig at you-know-who. But okay. also, okay. like I was saying, 
I think that that same kind of uh, mene- mechanism, having a cl- collateral backed stable coin, um, yeah. could be done in a way that ties into drip and allows for lending. So, um, Ooh, yeah. so, so essentially, my whole thing is I don't want to have to create another token. So, uh, creating a stable coin that that you know can be. Uh, issued and lended off of drip stakes. That's fine. I don't want to create another token like uh, I'm not going to name it, but you know what token and a stable coin connected to it, right? So, uh, so, so I want to do something like that. But if I do it, it's going to be tied into one of my existing tokens, most likely drip, and yeah, um, there you go. and we use it as collateral to. Um, we can use the, the stakes as collateral. There would need to be some sort of stable coin deposit as well. So essentially, we would need to have some new, some additional staking pool that allows for BUSD staking, and then we could use the drip that's in the vault or in the flopping contract as collateral, partnered with stable coin. So essentially, they would need to have a drip stake, and they would need to stake some some USD on top of it, uh, or, or some, some, something like that, right? There would need to be, you know, we do have a significant amount of USD collateral from Animal Farm as well. So there's a few ways we could do it. Really, I just have to think about how I want to do it without needing to create an additional token. You know, can I, can I be, ask you a question yeah, about that? Yeah, well, let me just say, it would be very easy for me to do just by creating an additional token, right? I would just take those existing contracts, hash the issue, which is very easy. I can do it in a day and launch. But I don't want to launch two more tokens. I want, uh, you know, I want um, to. Like this. Um, let me let me ask you this: Can you can you make something like if I want to bring someone to the platform, let's say Drip, and I want to lend him some Drip that will benefit both of us without taking without making a new contract or something, can, can that be done? Yeah, it can be done. The, the reason why that can be done, right, is because you can use dividends being earned to pay back the loan. So what that opens up the door to is someone being able to lend you capital as long as you have a specific amount of drip staked, and then their stake, the dividends, instead of going to them, will go to you. So it's a way that you can earn yield by lending someone else capital. And, and, and you can be insured that you'll get paid back through the DRIPS dividend model. This person that gets the loan has to get the loan uh, based off of their state collateral on the DRIP platform, though. But yeah, that's the great thing about DeFi, right? And especially these kind of staking models. Say this is a traditional market. You pay him, and then he runs off. You have to go break his kneecaps or something. In this case... They have the stake already, so um, the, you know they don't pay back the loan. You get to just uh, collect their dividends, essentially, and of course you would get interest on that. So the way it could work is you allow. I don't want to give away too much IP here, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But I will get that. Yeah, idea. yeah. You lend it. You you yeah. give them a loan, right? They can pay it back. They pay it back early, then they don't get high interest. They don't pay it back at all, maybe, and their dividends pay it back, you know, over time. But you get a bigger interest because you rent it out to them, and it takes longer to pay it back. But you know, you're getting that interest paid back because it's coming from their dividends. Uh, will you think it in a way that um, they don't have to do any actions to pay? Like it will automatically, automatically yeah. uh, get it off of their of their winnings and paying it back to the to the person who did the loan. Yeah, that's the only way it could be done. It, it, yeah. it, it would need to be automated. Yeah, for sure. Tied like like a, some sort of tree? Well, it's a, it's as simple as directing the dividends that you're making to their account, uh, you know, every day until the loan is paid back, you know, with some interest on top of that. So say say the uh, say you lend them uh, whatever, $100, it takes... A month to pay back a hundred dollars, but they owe you a hundred and twenty now because they've had it out for this long. And it's 
it's uh, collected interest. So now it pays you back over 120 days instead of 100 days. Just and what just and what that. and what happens if I lend to someone and that someone can lend to another one below him? Could that be possible? Well. So there is, uh, you can look at projects like um, like Abracadabra, right, that has the ability for some lending. It's not as advanced as our model, and uh, but it is possible. And there is the ability to do that, but there is serious diminishing returns every time you do it to the point where you only have uh, a limited amount of um, essentially... Uh, 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 trying to think of a oh, fractional uh, lending, right? It, it's limited due to the diminishing returns every time you do that. So uh, it's possible to do, right? Uh, you know, several levels, but then uh, then the diminishing returns just uh, just restricts it in that way, right? Just basic market incentives. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah. I, I was asking There's, because because the first move of you lending to someone is to let's say you make them uh, know the platform works and then you will urge those people to invest in drip to lend to other ones and that will create like a some sort of tree below them or kind of stuff like that yeah well the issue is right if you were to get a loan from the bank nothing's stopping you from then lending that capital out to someone else and people do it and there is a market for these secondary loans but the reason why it's not uh, blowing up and turning into some, you know, massive uh, Jenga thing in the retail market is because there's just diminishing returns there, and um, you know, it 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 really doesn't make uh, sense to, uh, you know, it's it's not like you're actually creating value when you do it, right? So when you do it, there are certain um, you know instances where it may make sense to do. Uh, maybe at one level, maybe in certain periods of time, but it's not something where you're actually creating value when you do it, and there's diminishing returns when you do it, so there's just basic market dynamics that restrict that, but of course it's possible, right? It's possible to do, but um, existing systems have already proven, or in traditional markets and DeFi markets, that that's not, uh, that's not a problem, right? It's possible, but not a problem. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, so the things I'm excited about is insurance, lending, and gaming, right? That's that's what I'm very excited about. That's what you're going to be seeing me work on in the future. And, and of course, all of these will be built into my existing projects. So lending on top of drip, you know, insuring, um, insuring stakes, insuring... Uh, deposits in yield farms, you know, not just having it on my projects, but also having it as a service to, you know, ensuring other uh, other farms, right, credible ones, like Pancake Swap, etc. Um, creating awesome play-to-earn games, which I'm working on right now. Um, one is not built, but I have the logic worked out for it, and I'm looking for someone to build it essentially now, because... You know, I'm kind of at the point where my, my hands are full as far as development and marketing, and I want to be able to put essentially my full focus into marketing our existing projects. Uh, so I'm really outsourcing a lot of the development, but of course I still have my core team where nothing gets by without going past them first. So, um, yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot I'm working on right now, and I'm very, very excited about all of it. I think that the things that I have lined up are way bigger than anything that I've ever done, but they all support what I've already done and help build up the ecosystem and create new cash flow for them. So, you know, I'm, I feel very good right now but about where we are and the future of, of all our projects. Right? So, it's exciting. It's an exciting time. Just don't forget about the pig pen. <laughs> no, well, the pig pen has been earning a lot of money because uh, all of that, the, the, those uh, LP tokens that are on Animal Farm ha that, that have stayed on there 
have been rehypothesized out to pancake swap, and we've been earning capital on them, and that capital is just sitting in the contract, ready to be added to the pig pen when it goes live. So, I mean, we've made a lot of money in the pig pen. And, you know, the pig pen, I haven't looked at the numbers recently, but it could have a couple more million dollars in it that we had um, than we had when we paused it, right? So, and the pig pen is designed to be a model where essentially the the participants in the system get the dev fee, right? So as the platform grows, as it becomes more popular, the more fees it generates, the more it pays out to the pig pen. And um, the pig pen has time-weighted rewards, which means the longer you stay in the pig pen every day, your, your payout gets a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger. And this is meant to be a long-term project. You can look at the, uh, the, there's a very small amount, right? There's like maybe maybe 2% of farms out there are quality. But the quality farms stick around. They stick around for years. And, um, you know, this, 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 I believe, is a greater model than any of them. It has the, you know, sustainability and sticking power way beyond anything they can do. So the pig pen is the long play for people that want to be owners and want to be sitting next year making all kinds of BUSD uh, dividends because they had the forethought to go for ownership of the platform rather than uh, rewards paid out, essentially. So uh, uh, I'm not forgetting about the pig pen. I'm, I'm, you know, How about the pig pen? You hasn't forgotten about the pick that either. It's generating a lot of BUSD every day. And is it working right now? I mean, we have to we have to like mistake the picks just to send it to the new contract. Is it working right now? Even after we did that? Yeah. So yeah. all that happens is, but well, right now pigs is paused. Right. So the whole thing is paused. Nothing is happening there. Um, and when we, but you're still getting paid BUSD though. So you're still getting paid, right, out of it. It's just um, no one's depositing pigs in or out, obviously. When we launch V2, V2 of the pigs token, you will be credited with your pigs in the new pig pen contract if that's where your pigs were when we paused. So we paused. We said, all right, if, if you're in the pig pen, withdraw, send it into the credit contract. And if you send it to the credit contract, we'll credit you with V2. Since you, it was in the pig pen when you paused, even though you withdrew it to, credit, to send it in to get credited, you will be credited in the new pig pen contract and immediately um, start generating those BUSD rewards. Right? And, and like I said, a lot has built up, like a couple million has built up um, that will be added in there as soon as it's unpaused. It's, all, all of this is automated, right? So... Um, so while it's paused, it's just accumulating. But when we unpause it, well, um, you know, the the capital will migrate to wherever it's supposed to migrate to.